Hey everyone, welcome back to the Outpost Underground. If you are setting up an internet in a box for a grid down scenario, I am going to talk about something that will make it much easier to keep things running smoothly if you lose access to the internet. First, we will be setting up GitT on our internet in a box. GitT is like a local hosted GitHub, and we will clone the entire internet in the box repository into GitT so we will have our own local copy we can access anywhere without internet, perfect for an off-grid setup. For this demo, we will be using the Raspberry Pi 3 internet in a box we set up in a previous tutorial. You may notice during this video that the IP address I am using to access the internet in a box changes between 192.168.50.54 and 10.10.10.10. .10 .10 .10. The reason for this is since I need to download content from the internet, I have an ethernet cable plugged in and sometimes I am accessing the box over my local network, and sometimes I am accessing the device directly using its own Wi-Fi network. By default, on devices like the Raspberry Pi that have built-in Wi-Fi capability, internet in a box configures the device to also function as a network appliance when it is plugged in to a network hardline. Now that I've logged into my Internet in a Box admin portal, I select the Configure tab and I can verify that we did not install GitT during our initial installation. We can easily add GitT by selecting the box next to GitT and then select Save Configuration. Let it save and then we can select Install Configured Options. Now we can see that GitT is installing. We can also verify this by navigating over to the Utilities tab and checking our job status. Here we can also see that GitT is installing. Another way we can do this is by using PuTTY on our Windows computer to connect to the Internet in a Box over Terminal. Once we are authenticated, all we have to do is change our working directory and then run the install command. Now we can see that GitT is already installed, but we will let it run anyway. You can use either of these two options to install GitT, and it should work and be a short installation. Once installed, we can access the program by opening a new web browser and entering the IP address for our internet in a box, followed by forward slash GitT. From the home page, we will need to register an account since this is our first time logging in. Registering is simple, just fill out the required fields. Right now, the email doesn't really matter, you can enter whatever you want. But in a later video, I'm going to show how we can use this with the optional package for local email. Now once registered, we can see that we have no available repos. Let's fix that. I'm going to open a new browser window and search for IIAB GitHub. Navigate to the IIAB GitHub page and copy that URL. Now switch back to the GitT browser window. In the top right, there is a plus sign. Select that and select New Migration. Select GitHub as our source and we will paste in the IIAB GitHub URL. Now we don't need an access token, but you can select the mirror and wiki options. Other fields will auto-populate and then select Migrate Repository. This will start the cloning process and in a few moments we will have the complete IIAB GitHub copied over to our local internet in a box. Now we can see that the migration is finished and we can browse our new local repo. One good reason to do this is it provides the internet in a box tech documents right here. We can also go over and browse the Internet in a Box Frequently Asked Questions. Additionally, we can browse all the detailed README files for Internet in a Box modules. So for example, if you have the free PBX phone system installed, but forgot how to use it, you can browse that module and find detailed examples of what you need to do to get it operational. And that's it! 
This is definitely a resource you want on hand in the event things go sideways. In a grid down scenario, or if you're just out in the wilderness, you'll have everything you need to keep this powerful tool up and running. Thank you for watching. Leave a comment below if you have any questions or if you just need help with your setup.